Our natural world is in crisis. Join the conversation today. It's not a new technology. Using the sun as an energy source, you know, is not a new technology. What's new is the technology of the solar panels themselves. So the solar panels that I have on my house, for instance, are one type that's not as efficient as the type of solar panels that are on Colorado Court. So they keep getting more and more efficient. And I think kind of the paradigm shift that I see in technologies like solar and solar panels is when the panels themselves can, themselves can become sort of double the efficiency mm -hmm. um, in the same kind of space, square footage, or if they could become the windows of your building, for instance. Right. You know, if you go to Europe, you know, solar panels are actually embedded in um, skylights and windows and finishes of buildings. And I think in this country, we're still using kind of solar panels and putting them on the roof as kind of a separate material. So I think there's what's going to happen in the future is a sort of paradigm shift within that technology. And people are talking about smart grids now and mm -hmm. battery storage and how to, um, cause we know the sun is only out and you generate most of your power during a certain time of the day. So it makes a lot of sense, but you need to have a smart grid to be able to use, um, to use that technology. So I see technology sort of on the infrastructure side and then also kind of, I'd like to see kind of the solar industry make that big kind of paradigm jump to something, you know, much more efficient and different. And I think that that's going to happen. We talk uh, a bit on the podcast about with relation to water and solar and energy um, on site versus, you know, off site delivery of those things. And when you're talking about a smart grid, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's sort of what you're talking about is, you know, on a building by building basis, maybe a block by block basis, you're, you're coupling uh, the, the users, the consumers uh, together to create a grid that sort of shares to some degree, you know, it's like a community um, grid of some sort. Um, and is that, is yeah. that correct? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. And they call it, we call it distributed generation. So it makes the most logical sense to generate your power where you use it, right? Because then you mm -hmm. don't have to send power through your infrastructure, which loses a lot of power mm -hmm. through the, the grid. Um, the problem with that is we have something called private utility companies. <laughs> Love which, those, yeah, big fan. Yeah. <laughs> which are um, most of the state of California. So I'm in LADWP territory, which is a public company, but if you're in Edison territory, it's a private company and private utility companies have shareholders. And so it's generally short-term thinking and it's generally profit for shareholders. That's kind of their priority. So when we did Colorado Court, for instance, um, which is in Edison territory, we were not allowed to send any of our power across our property line. Wow. Building the Future, Green Building in the New Millennium, brought to you by Sustainable Homes of the Future. Join in.